from the TMBC Network. Welcome to Bad Audiobooks, a parody brought to you by our very well-read supporters on Patreon. I'm Nick Masmanian, along with my co-host... Ted Heidelman! Woo! <laughs> Hello, Internet! We love you, Detroit! We love you! Thank you so much for listening <laughs> uh, to our show about good books read badly. So what is coming off of the shelf today? It is Series 2! We are in Series 2. What you haven't heard is all about Sherlock Holmes, specifically a short story from a collection. It's elementary, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> today we'll be diving into the adventure of the Sussex Vampire. Whoa-oh! We picked it because I was shocked that there's such a thing as a Sussex vampire in the in the actual Sir Arthur Conan Doyle books written by written for Sherlock Holmes. I'm pretty sure I have never read this story. You? I actually haven't read most Sherlock Holmes stories. I've, I've listened. I'm to a the big fan of the movies, like three or four or five, but I couldn't mm-hmm. tell you even which ones it was. Yeah. Um, but uh, let's uh, before we jump into there, well, let's talk about the edition that we're reading out of right now. I think we're actually going to switch halfway through the season, but for this particular episode, uh, we've got the. Bantam Classics Edition, uh, Sherlock. Sherlock Holmes, yeah. Complete Novels and Stories. Uh, we're doing Volume 2, actually, for our first episode. And just so you know what the cover looks like, it's a horse-drawn carriage from the back uh, with a man with a bowler hat on it, and it's a black and white photo. Very Jack the Ripper. Yep. So, Pato- originally oh. published, obviously, with all that stuff way back in the day in public domain, but uh, this is a 1986 edition, is what it looks like. Yep. So... Class, if you could open your pages, your books to page 593. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. All right. Uh, is that what we're going to call our, our listeners? Is students. Class, is class and students? Yeah, why not? Yeah, we should, have, we should have called them something. Yeah, we should. Dear students, I right, promise. Class, <laughs> eyes forward. Class, class, class. Calm down, class. Open your ear holes. Billy, I swear to God, if you throw another freaking spit wad at Sally, I'll come over there and ream you with this ruler. Whoa. It's got, it's got hot. Over the knuckles. All right. Yeah, that's sexy. Really hard. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, the university... The university... The uh, University of Sussex, which is where my friend teaches, actually. <laughs> oh, uh, actually, she's it? at the university... Is it Essex? Essex. She's Essex. at the University of Essex. We are... Uh... We are bumpy, bumpy cobbled roads already at the beginning. We well, you know what? The first sentence. Guess what? <laughs> you, uh, you tuned into the right show! All right. The Adventure of the Sussex Vampire. Holmes had read, carefully, a note which the last post had brought him. Then the dry (laughs) truckle, which, for his nearest approach to a laugh, he tossed it over to me. Are are you going to speak, old boy? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. All right, all right. All right, Watson, okay, so for a mixture of the modern and the medieval, okay, okay, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, you know the medieval, the the dark times, of the practical, and of the the wildly fanciful. I think this is surely the limit, okay, okay, yeah, okay? Said he. Yeah, okay, yeah, it totally is. What do you make of it, Watson? I read as follows. Hang on, I had, no, oh boy, I'm trying to, trying to keep (laughs) my British accent as much as I can. Uh, Yeah, okay. (laughs) No, 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 it sounds great, sounds great. 46. Forty six it's starting more southern. Forty six old jury Yeah. Forty six old jury North n- November nineteenth. Re vampires. Sir. Well do you gotta do this in a different voice? This isn't yeah, voice. yeah, this is a completely different Was well, it Watson doing an impression of someone? <sighs> oh, oh we are gonna go. <laughs> uh, okay, can I even do this? All right. Just do a just do a dumb voice. I'm go- I have to. I can't. Well, this is I can bad audio books. Even- we have yeah. to stay true to our name. I was about to say, like, I could barely even hold a Watson at this point. So, <laughs> Holmes, what do you mean? So, uh, it's like hey, God, Holmes, Holmes, Holmes. Let's go with this one instead, Holmes. So, sir, our client, Mister Robert Ferguson of Ferguson Moorhead, tea brokers of Mincing Lane, has made some inquiry from us in a communication of even date. Of even date concerning vampires, as our firm specializes entirely upon the assessment of machinery, the matter hardly comes within our purview, and we have therefore recommended Mr. Ferguson call upon you and lay the matter before you. We have not forgotten your successful case uh, action in the case of Matilda Briggs. 
We, sir, faithfully yours, Morrison, Morrison, and Odd, per EJC. Okay. All right. So first things first. Whew. Matilda Briggs? Whew. Was not the name of the young woman, Watson? Said Holmes in a, res- in a reminiscent voice. It was a ship. Okay. Okay. Which is associated with the giant rat of Sumatra. A story which, for the world, has not yet prepared. But what do we know about vampires? Okay. I know something. I know something about vampires. Does it come within our purview either? Hey, anything is better than stag- stagnation. That stagnation leads to resentment and build up and backsliding. But really, we seem to have been switched onto Grimm's fairy tale. Oh, oh my what god! The fuck? All right, break character. Yeah, we have to. We have to break character. High five. Series one throwback <laughs> in the fucking second page. That was not planned. That planned one bit. Wow. <sighs> Okay. We see you do a switch onto a Grimm's fairy tale. Make a long arm, Watson, <laughs> and see what V has to say. <laughs> Little Jim Carrey there. So much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's all right. All right. Well, okay. 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 Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. I look. I lean. I lean. Damn it! I had that voice, and now it's gone. I lean back. Oh boy, hello, Holmes. I know, right? I just need to get in this one. Here we go. Here we go. Geek on, Holmes. Sorry. There we go. I leaned back and took down the great index of volume to which he referred. Holmes balanced it on his knee, and his eyes moved slowly and lovingly over the record of old cases, mixed with the accumulated information of a lifetime. Voyage of the Glorious God. He read. That was a bad business. I have some recollection that you have uh, made a record of it. Watson! <laughs> Though I was unable to congratulate you upon the result. Victor Lynch, the forger, venomous lizard, or... Gilia. Gilia, yeah, that was it, Gilia. Remarkable case, that. Vinaria, the circus bell! Vanderbilt and the Yegman. Vipers, Vigor, the Hammersmith Wonder. Ulla, Ulla, good old index. You can't beat it. Listen to this, Watson. Vampires have been hungry. There it is, yeah. And again, vampires in Transylvania. Oh, my. Holmes, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I just need a quick hit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> His humors are all out of whack. He turned over the pages with eagerness. But after a short intent, pursue, pursue, per, 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 after a per short usual? per u- intent per usual... He threw down the great book upon a snarl of disappointment. Ah! <laughs> Rubbish! <laughs> oh Rubbish, uh-huh. Watson! What? Watson, rubbish. Oh my god, what have we to do with walking corpses who can say only be held in their grave by stakes driven through their hearts? It's pure lunacy! But surely, I said I, the vampire was not necessarily a dead man. A living person might have the habit. I have read, oh, for example... Oh, uh, we know you do. For example, uh, of old... The of the old sucking of the blood of the young in order to retain their youth. I'll suck on anything it gets to get me the next fix. Uh, okay. You're right, Watson. That's it mentions question. the legend in one of these references. But are we going to give serious attention to these things? My God, this agency stands flat-footed upon the ground. And there it must remain. The world is big enough for us. No ghost need apply. I fear that we cannot take Mr. Robert Ferguson for very seriously. Possibly this note may be from him and may throw some light upon what was worrying him. He took up a second later, which had <coughs> lain unnoticed upon the table <coughs> while he had been absorbed with it the first. I like your foley work in the background. That's actually... <laughs> <laughs> He's just, he's just wiping off all those cockroaches on his skin. Right. If you couldn't tell by now, Kent is no, the best Don't say a word! <laughs> Who are you talking to, Watson? No, no one, no one, of course, clearly. This he began to read with a smile of amusement upon his face. <laughs> it gradually faded into an expression of intense interest and concentration. <laughs> when he had finished, he sat for some time 
lost in thought, with the letter dangling from his fingers. <laughs> Finally, with a start, he aroused himself with from his revere. Reverie. Re reverie. Oh, I'm aroused. Oh, God. No. <laughs> Chessman's Lamberly. Oh, God. Where is the Lamberly, Watson? It's in Sussex, south of Horsham. Not very far, huh? And it's Chessman's. I know that country. Holmes, it's full of old houses, which named after the men who built them centuries ago. You get old liege. Old liege. <laughs> you get... You get old liege and Harveys and Carltons. The old folk are forgotten. But the names live in... Hang on. Preposterous! Can we, can we do some better real quick? Hey, Holmes! Holmes! My God, Holmes! Holmes. 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 Dear God, Holmes! Holmes. Okay, we're My God, Holmes! Holmes. Okay. We got me! You get old leaves and Harveys and Carltons. The folk are forgotten, but the names live in their houses. Precisely! Said Holmes coldly. It was one of those particulars, particularities his, of his proud, self-contained nature. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'm so self-contained! <laughs> Of that, that though he docked any fresh information, though very quietly and accurately <laughs> in his brain, <laughs> he seldom made any acknowledgement of the, to the giver. This is you. Yeah, I guess it is. No, this isn't Grimm's Fairy Tales, but the formatting is shit. This is your. Uh, it's, it's not. It's better, but not great. Um. I rather fancy we shall know a good deal more about Cheeseman's Lamberly before we are through. The letter is, as I hoped, from Robert Ferguson. By the way, he claims acquaintance with you. With me? You had better read it! You mean read it? Yeah! Okay! He handed the letter across. It headed. It was headed with the address. It was headed with the address quoted. Oh, I get to do another one. Is this me or you? Uh, I'll jump in here. I'm about to say, this one's really long. Dear Mr. Holmes, it is said, I have been recommended to you by my lawyers. But, indeed, the matter is so extraordinarily delicate that it is most difficult to discuss. It concerns a friend from whom I am acting. This gentleman married some five years ago a Peruvian lady. Peruvian. Per I was like, I thought it was there. And yeah, then I Peruvian. Just, yeah, thank you. No I worries. appreciate that a lot. Sorry, sorry. No, no, I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. A Peruvian lady, the daughter of a Peruvian merchant, whom he had met in connection with the importance of nitrates. The lady was very beautiful, but the fact of her foreign birth and of her alien religion always caused a separation of interest. Oh, my. Alien religion? Jesus. Well, you'd say it's also importation of nitrates. Sure. Okay. But anyway. Um, yeah, alien religion. Okay. Your religion is alien! <laughs> You're not from this world! I want to believe. You're going to hell! Uh, where were we? The lady was very beautiful, but the fact of her foreign birth and of her alien religion always caused a separation of interests and of feelings between husband and wife, so that after a time, his love may have cooled towards her, Ooh. and he may have come to regard their union as a mistake. Wow. That's so intriguing. It is felt there were sides of her character which he could never explore or understand. This was the more painful as she was a loving wife as a man could have to all appearances absolutely devoted. Oh my god, you're right. There is more. I was yeah, like, I, I, I am told you. This exit. No, you're not. Now for the now for the point. I lost my fucking British voice halfway in there somehow. Do you want to? Uh, well, um, I'll I'll come up with something here. Okay, I'm trying to think of a way to get you back. Now for the point, which I will make more plain. When we met, indeed, this note is merely to give you a general idea of the situation, and to ascertain whether you would care to interest yourself in the matter. The lady began to show some curious traits quite alien to her ordinarily sweet and gentle disposition well then oh my 
Oh, my. The gentleman had been married twice, <gasps> and he had one son by the first wife. Oh, dear. This boy was now 15 hmm. and very charming hmm. and affectionate youth. Oh, my. Though unhappily injured through an accident in childhood. I could have saved him. Twice the wife was caught in the act of assaulting this poor lad in the most unprovoked way. Once she struck him with a stick and left a great we 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 wheel. <laughs> Almost a whelp, but not really. Wheel. Yeah. It's just wheel. W E A L. Yeah. On his arm. This was a small matter, however, compared with her conduct to her own child, a dear boy just under one year of age. On one occasion, about a month ago, this child had been left by its nurse the, for a few minutes. The ghosts of my mind are just making so many voices for this letter. A loud cry from the baby, as of pain, called the nurse back. As she ran into the room, she saw her employer, the lady, leaning over the baby and apparently biting his neck. Oh, my. What a... Man, God. What are you doing, monologues? <laughs> <gasps> well, uh, you keep Conan going. Conan Doyle! Fuck! Well, just... No just, dialogue. Just keep going. We're powering through this. It's good. I mean, it's good shit. That's the problem. No, it's, it's exposition. We need it. It's just three pages of it. Clearly, the Peruvian is... All Peruvians are vampires. Continue. Exactly. That's, that's the takeaway. I mean, duh. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on. There was a small wound on the neck from which a stream of blood had escaped. The nurse was so horrified that she wished to call her husband, but the lady implored her not to do so and actually gave her five pounds as a price for her silence. <laughs> There's a bribe. Don't say anything, because vampires. Here's enough to buy some bread. No explanation was ever given. And for the moment, the matter <clears throat> was passed over. It left, however, a terrible impression upon the nurse's mind. And from that time, she began to watch her mistress closely and to keep a closer guard upon the baby Ooh. whom she tenderly loved. Oh, that's nice. It seemed to her that even as she watched the mother, so the mother watched her and she watched the mother and the mother watched her and they were both watching each other and they were going back and forth. My mind cannot understand what's happening right now. It was a, a voyeurs, voyeurism, voyeuristic. What? what? Where? Yes. And that every time she huh? was so, so compelled to leave the baby alone with the mother, was waiting to get at it. Oh, okay. There we are. I found us. Day and night, the nurse covered the child. What? I don't... Was just, I'm just saying. And day and night, the silent... Watchful mother seemed to be lying in wait as a wolf waits for its l for it's a lamb. Just, it's just a mom. I mean, it's a wolf. <laughs> it could be a mom. It must read most incredible to you. It, it's okay. And yet, I beg you to take it seriously hmm. because it's a wolf woman <laughs> for a child's life and a man's sanity may depend upon it. At last, I came. One dreadful day. My God, this letter just when keeps the going. the facts could now, I'm going to keep going. Could no longer be concealed from the husband. Holmes, can you give me a drink? I'm still reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two drinks, three drinks. What were you having? What? Could no longer be concealed from the husband. The nurse's nerve had given way. She couldn't... St she could stand the strain no longer. And she made a clear breast... A clean breast, not a clear breast. There's a clean breast of all, of it all to the man. What? She's telling him the truth about what's happening. I must tell you something. Here, <laughs> let me show you this clean breast. No, 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 you're taking it too literally. <laughs> My breast means the truth. No, I mean, well, you know, that's... Uh... I'm good with that, but the point is... Do you is... like the truth? What? <laughs> Do you like the way it looks? Um... Squeeze the truth! I'm... What? I just want to be married and have a baby. <laughs> to him, it had seemed as wild a tale as it may now seem to you. He knew his wife to be a loving wife, and save for the assaults upon her stepson, a loving mother. She's a very loving mother, except when she <laughs> beats her shit out of kids. 
I love people, especially when I slap them across the face. I, I love them. I feel like you were raised right. <laughs> no, no. I love everyone equally, especially when I punch them in the stomach and kick them in the knee with my knee in the down. It's always a violet coming over here to record when you see me. I like grinding my heel into their necks. Okay. Because I love them. Okay. Right. Why then should she wound her own dear little boy? He had told the nurse that she was dreaming that her suspicions were those of a lunatic and that such libels 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 I don't say words I'll have very often <laughs> upon her mistress were not to be tolerated you see you are a lunatic well, women are crazy Holmes, Holmes where's that drink I'm still reading this letter oh I'm getting it I drank the first three by myself I drank them all <laughs> my god Holmes while they were talking, a sudden cry of pain was heard. Nurse and master rushed together to the nursery. Imagine his feelings, Mr. Holmes, as he saw his wife rise from a kneeling position beside the cot and saw blood upon the child's exposed neck and upon the sheet. I really ran out of breath in that sentence. With a cry of horror, he turned his wife's face to the light and saw blood around her lips. It was she, she beyond all question, who had drunk the poor baby's blood. Tim so Curry is now here. So the matter stands. She is now confined to her room. There has been no explanation. The husband is half demented. He knows, and I know, little of vampirism beyond the name. We had thought it was some wild tale of foreign parts. Where am I in this letter? Part 16 I don't... of the letter to Mr. Holmes. <laughs> I don't quite understand what's, why Holmes had me read this. And yet here, in the very heart of the English Sussex. Well, all this can be discussed with you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like we need to meet. I feel like it's been covered very well. <laughs> in depth. In, in great detail. Great detail. <laughs> Please don't call. It? Put that encyclopedia down and let's get that drink. <laughs> Wait, you're supposed to get me a drink. What? Holmes! Will you see me? Will you use your great powers in aiding a distracted man? He's distracted because all those breasts. Writing this those letter. truthful breasts. Imagine if you were focused, what kind of letter you would write. <laughs> if so, kindly wire to Ferguson, Cheesemans, Lamberley, and I will be at your rooms. By 10 o'clock, yours faithfully, Robert Ferguson. Okay, that's a nice long letter put to bed. No longer I do I have to read it. P.S. Uh, I believe your friend Watson played rugby for Blackheath when I was three-quarter from Richmond. What? I love to watch him in those shorts as he ran across the pitch. My God, it stirred my loins. W what? Oh, yes. Uh, give him a kiss for me if I, you can. I, I, I'm, I'm, I am... Uh, I I'm... still hold... Deep feelings. I am uncomfortable. I'm in highest regards. Okay. Of how beautiful his hair was. You you live frolicked you, in the breeze. You live your life. The other we are done reading this P.S. It is the only person, personal introduction, which I can give as he gave to me. Holmes, I don't understand why you have me read this letter. Hang <laughs> on. All right. We got to go uh, pay for the show. Alrighty, it is it is time to get this shiz paid for here for bad audiobooks. Nick, you've got a book. I do. It's called Where Monsters Lie. It's a novella, shorts, and uh, a short story. It's a cyberpunk, also known as cyberpulp, as it's been also stated. The genre keeps changing. Yeah, you know, just keeps switching. You gotta stick with the times. Sorry, let me redo that. So that Nick. Go ahead. You've got a website. <laughs> <laughs> I do. RenegadeGoods.com. It's a little company my wife and I do together. Uh, we do laser cut goods, custom made uh, merch, and anything else really. If As long as you hit us up at RenegadeGoods at gmail.com. We will fulfill any kind of custom orders you want to make for yourself or uh, for presents, parties, or your convention that you're going to. And you really want to make some small amounts of merch. We do small orders, big orders, medium orders, all your orders in between. Bookshelf. Many things all can be purchased there. Yeah. So, Kent, I hear that you have a show you produce about comics. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I produce a a little review show called Comic Review Puppet, starring Kirby McStaples. He's a, a energetic, blue, furry little puppet that posts about his favorite comics that he uh, reviews. And he's uh, super a lot of fun. I'm the producer slash director creator on that show, but uh, Kirby has a lot of fun. He's a, he's a great star, and uh, yeah, uh, go check him out if you want to hear what the latest and greatest comics are in the world. And uh, I think we should also we, it wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a bad audiobooks commercial break if we didn't mention our Patreon and our yes. lovely patrons today. Kent, which tier should we be talking about? Oh, that's that's got to be one of the best tiers that we have. It's I, I think it's our bread and butter tier. It's the biography tier. Oh, I love a good biography. Remember when A and E was classy? I do. Yep, not I anymore. Do. Now you got to bring you got to come to bad audiobooks for <laughs> your classiness because we are nothing but classiness here on this show. But remember, you will be remembered forever in this tier. Yes, it, have yourself carved. Into remember me. Annals, 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 and the analogs. Analogs of history. Anal, in the annals or analogs? Anals, anal of history. What? What? Have yourself <laughs> carved into the anal of history. <laughs> oh my god! With the biography tier. Uh, first and foremost, you get the all of the fiction tier. All of the romance tier Ooh. is included with a biography tier. So you're getting all the previous tiers ahead of it. And biography tier, you get your name immortalized into our podcast. We will read your name. if Once you subscribe to this tier, we will read your name at the end of each and every episode that we do once a week. We will read your name once a week. No. We will read your name at the end of an episode each week. Yes. And uh, yeah. yeah, yeah we got it. We found it. We made That's it. it. Yeah. Uh, so we'll call you out personally. Subscribe to our <laughs> Patreon. Uh, it, it is a great way to support. It is the best, pretty much the best way to support our show. Yes. Other than listening, which we are very, very, very grateful for. Or reviewing us. Or reviewing us. But, we'll but that's that not later. the conversation we're supposed to be having here at this spot. Nope. Uh, that is the biography tier. Back to the show. Oh. Hang on. Let me interrupt there for a second. No. Uh, yeah, I'm interrupting. The, the music's playing. The music's playing. We're done. Make sure to go to, if you want to find that, go to patreon.com slash bad audiobooks to find out more. But now, play this out. Of course, I remember him, said I, as I laid down the letter. That was almost a book, rather than a letter. Big Bob Ferguson, the finest three-quarter Richmond ever had. What? He was always a good-natured chap. It's like him to be so concerned over a friend's case. Three quarters of a man. <laughs> Three qu- <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> he only has knees up. Conan Doyle just uh, alienated uh, all the amputees oh, in the audience. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's mostly just a, it's a position probably in rugby or football or whatever. Oh. Yeah, he no was talking idea. about a sport. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, that's what it is. Sports, do oh, the thing, score the points. Quarterback, got it. Like football, like American football. Quarterback. Yeah, three quarter Richmond. It says it's half back. Quarter. Yeah, fullback, quarterback, three quarterback. Yeah, whatever. The point is, it's a the British. Finest thing. three quarterback ever. Made. Oh, there's Bane. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> we can't be sued. Warner Brothers, don't come after it's us. An accident. He didn't mean to. The bane of my existence. Hey. Anyway. <laughs> Good luck editing this. Yeah. Right. All right. It's uh. All right. Holmes looked at me thoughtfully. And shook his head. Yeah, I never get your limits, Watson. You can't have lo- uh, limits in this world. The world's full of uh, limitations, and you gotta you gotta go by them. Okay, okay. There are, there are unexplored possibilities. I'll bat you. Take a wire down. You doing that? You taking this down? Yeah. Uh, like a good fellow. Okay. We'll examine your case with pleasure. Your, your case? We, must, we, we can't think like that. You can't think that this agency is a home for the weak-minded. Don't be weak. You, your mind has to be spinning and constantly going. you got to have that mind palace. Of course it, it, it is his case. It's, uh, send him that wire, and then let, let the matter uh, rest till morning. Promptly at 10 o'clock next morning, Ferguson strode into our room. I had remembered him as long, slab-sided man with loose limbs and a fine turn of speed, which had carried him around many a opposing back. There is surely... I have no idea. There is surely nothing in life more painful than to meet the wreck of a fine athlete whom uh, one has known in his prime. So apparently he's all jacked up now. His great frame had fallen in. Yeah, hang on. Yeah. His great... Hang on. (laughs) His great frame had fallen in, 
his flaxen hair was scanty, and his shoulders were bowed. I fear that I rouse corresponding emotions in him. Like some sort of sexual tension? No, I just think he was like, oh, I'm, I'm regretting seeing you, seeing me in this condition. Okay, yeah, it could be sexy time too, I guess. They are British. Um, okay. Hello, Watson. Said he, and his voice was still <laughs> deep and, he- and hearty. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. You're on this track. You don't look like quite the man you did when I threw you over the ropes into the crowd at the old deer park. I expect you I have changed a bit also, but it's this day, this last day or two, that has aged me. Wow. I see by your telegraph, Mr. Holmes, that it is no use my pretending to be anyone's deputy. What? Is he pretending to be a cop that whole time? Uh, let me think. That letter was so long. I don't think he was pretending to be. Hang on. Let me see. Whatever. Let me see. No, yeah, yeah. It's you know, don't, don't go around it. Don't go sideways. Don't go up down. Don't go. Up, don't, <laughs> don't go all around. You gotta be direct. It's a, it's better to simply be direct with me. It's better. So, you know, says it's simply to deal, deal direct. Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Of course it is. Oh, wait, that's you. You're doing two voices. That. That's cool. <laughs> of course it is. But you can imagine how difficult it is when you are speaking of the one woman whom you are bound to protect and help. What can I do? How 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 am I going? <laughs> how am I going to police? This guy with talks, such a man. Story? This guy talks. <laughs> His letters yeah. are long, and he talks a lot. Fucking mo- like giving the monologues here, and yet the kitties have got to be put. The kitties, <laughs> the, kitties. the kitties, gotta protect the kitties, and yet the kitties have got to be protected. Is it madness, Mister Holmes? Is it something in the blood? Have you any similar case in your experience? For God's sake, give me some advice, for I am at my wit's end. I'm bad audiobooks where every sentence ends with an exclamation point. Because we're always dramatic. I'm trying to, I, I, always, I mean, he's not terrible with his hmm? formatting the way Grimm's Fairy Tales was. No. But there is no one that's speaking here. I guess it's just implying that Holmes is speaking. Oh. They don't say said anywhere there. You know, actually, yeah, that's true. I gotta read yeah, there's no, context. there's no distinguishing. There's that's just the paragraph and paragraph. There's, there's a, there's a closed. There's technically, 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 there's a closed exclama- uh closed quotation, which means that person stopped talking. That's it. But yeah, that that's usually a, an old school way of doing it. Was that you would leave the dialogue open by leaving no quotation at the end, so it would just be a new paragraph with a with a with a quotation at the start, but never at the end. So it would say that person's still talking. It's an old school way of doing it. Cool. I, I, I read through it. I'm, I'm 90% sure it's home, so I'm just going to... Okay, go for it. You broke the rule, Kent. Yes. Kent, you broke the rule. You're not supposed to read ahead. You're not supposed to read ahead, Kent. How the fuck am I supposed to know who to do? Who's, who's working here? <laughs> very naturally. Mr. Ferguson, very naturally. Now, sit here. Yeah, sit, sit down. No, yeah, put it, get yourself comfortable. And pull yourself together. And give me a few clear answers. Clear. Don't go up, down, or sideways. I can assure you that I am uh, very far from being at my wit's end, and I, that I am very confident that we shall find some solution. First of all, tell me what steps you've taken. Is your wife still near the children? We've had a dreadful scene. She is a most loving woman, Mr. Holmes. I have ever a woman loved a man, if ever a woman loved a man with all her heart and soul, she loves me. She was cut to the heart. She was cut to the heart? Oh, she was cut to the heart. Hopefully not literally. She was cut to the heart, and I should have discovered this horrible, this incredible <laughs> secret. But she was dead already. <laughs> and then I brought her back to life. <laughs> oh my God. Just like in our exclusive Patreon episode of Frankenstein. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no she plenty. would not have even speak. She gave no answer to my reproaches, save to gaze me with all sorts of wild, de- despairing look in her eyes. Then she rushed to her room and locked herself in. Since then, she has refused to see me. She is a maid. Jesus Christ, I don't care about so much. She is a maid who was with her before her marriage. Her marriage? Our marriage? Most people would say our marriage. Must be before her marriage. Dolores by name. A friend rather than a servant. She takes her food to her. Should I take this so you get a break? Oh, I'm already cracking. Okay. Well, we'll see how... Let's just ride the crazy. Okay, let's just see how the we go. The child is in no immediate danger. Tell me! 
<laughs> Mrs. Mason, the nurse, has sworn that she will not leave at night or <laughs> leave at night or leave it. What? What are they talking about? <laughs> that she will not leave it, whatever it is, night or day. I can absolutely trust her. <laughs> Why would you? I am more uneasy about poor little Jack. Know. For as I told you in my note, my my novella. <laughs> I, I had an editor look at it. Today. I'm getting some good feedback. Some good notes. Schuster is and Simon are coming back at it for uh, for another pass. I mean, they t- they took a pass originally, but now they're going to come back around and take a second pass. <laughs> and hopefully that pass means it's a good pass and then it passes with flying colors. <laughs> he has twice been assaulted by her. But never wounded. <laughs> Come on, tell me about the wounds. There's wounds, right? No. You're assuming there's wounds, but not wounded? No. She struck him savagely. It is more terrible as he is a poor little inoffensive cripple. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck. Keep going. Keep going. You That's got sh- this. It's you. Oh, it is. I get, you finally I get, get to speak. Oh, my God. Use your words. I now know how you felt during Grim. Grim. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> Ferguson's gaunt features softened as he spoke of his boy. And now you won't speak for two pages. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you would think, Mr. Holmes, that the dear lad's condition would often soften. Would not often. I forgot the S. Put a burp. No, there it is. <laughs> okay. You would think the dear lad's condition <laughs> would soften anyone's heart. A fallen childhood and a twisted spine. Oof. Mr. Holmes! <laughs> but the dearest... Pouring it on thick most there. loving heart within! I don't know what you mean! <laughs> Holmes had picked, up a le- had picked up a letter of yesterday and was reading it over. What other inmates are in there at your... <sighs> at your house, Mr. Ferguson! <laughs> 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 Two servants who have not been long with us. One stable hand, Mikhail, <laughs> who sleeps in the house. <laughs> Mikhail? <laughs> who sleeps in the house. My wife, myself, my boy, Jack Baby, Dolores, and Mrs. Mason. That is all. I gather you do not know your wife well at the time of your marriage. Because who gets married? I always get married to perfect strangers. I don't know about you. It's, it's That's why the TV show, they made it Perfect Strangers. That's what it was about. Hey. Getting married early. And Bunky. Not knowing each other. Who doesn't love Bunky? Those, they were the two guys. They barely knew each other before they got married, right? Perfect Strangers? Yeah. They're cousins. Are you talking I about mean, the- that, that's what they did back then, too, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're not you're not phasing me one bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still committed to this. <laughs> I've only known her for a few weeks. I had only known her for a few weeks. Damn, they move fast. And not only met, but got engaged. You know, people died married. at the age of 13 back then. <laughs> so they were just like, hi, what's your name? That's great. Let's get married. I'm I'm, I'm eight. I'm having my midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do once the pubes start coming in? <laughs> All right. There we go. How long have this maid Dolores been with her? Some years. Then your wife's character would really be better known by... Huh, but Dolores. Put Dolores. together, man. Ah, who? What? <laughs> then by down. you. Yes. You may say so. Holmes made a note. <laughs> oh, we're getting Foley. Ah, oh, my God. I made a note. <laughs> Jesus. I fancy... Said he. That I may be of more use out of the Lamberley than here. <gasps> It is imminently a case for personal investigation. If the lady remains in her room, I present. (laughs) Could not annoy or inconvenience her. Holmes, calm down. Of course we would stay at the inn. Ferguson gave a gesture of relief. (laughs) Pulls out his handkerchief and says, ah, the vapors. My word. (laughs) He's from the south. I do declare, it is what I hoped, Mr. Holmes. There's an excellent train at two from Victoria, if you could come. All right, let's see you again. Jeez. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I what? cadence before that character. Otherwise, we w- your voice wouldn't be destroyed. 
Well, it's like that's why we brought a second person into this this podcast. Yeah, exactly. Places, so that you I've did to, all the voices before. <laughs> how how do professionals do this? <laughs> well, they that's just why we're bad. Uh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> also, uh, I think they just like they yeah. have like a bad guy voice and a good guy voice and stuff like that. Like they just kind of pitch. Edit, they edit it. Mm, maybe, they but got, they got a director and an editor. They're professionals. I, yeah, <laughs> it's just when they're reading, they're just reading. So you know, you're getting a performance out there, listeners. Hope yeah. you're enjoying it. I'm sweating here. I'm sweating like a drug addict trying to solve mysteries. Uh, oh, my God. This keeps going. Okay. Are they ever going to leave the apartment to go solve the mystery? I hope it, it, I hope they never leave. Because I think there's only 10 pages left in this story. <laughs> he just shows up and he's like, yeah, she's a vampire. Vampire solved. Done. We did it. Uh, I always lose my place here. Um, there we go. Whew, of course we oh can come. God. There is a lull at the present. I God, I'm gonna turn this up a notch. <laughs> I'm so goddamn bored. I could give you my undivided energies. I'm so focused on you. I can't even. I can't even blink. Oh my god! Blink, Holmes. Blink. Not Watson. like last time. Watson, of course, comes with us. I. I need him. I can't go anywhere without him. Literally, couldn't tell the story without me. He helps tie me down to the bed. What? I don't go running off into the night. <laughs> but there are one or two points on which I wish Holmes. to be very sure before I start. Don't interrupt me. <laughs> This unhappy lady, as I understand it, has appeared to assault both the children, her own baby, and your little son. They're not her babies, both of them. Oh, wait. Oh, that's... Oh, it's her stepson. Yeah. Got it. That makes sense. Don't talk to me, Watson. Don't even look at me. (laughs) That is so... But the assaults take different forms, don't they? One's liquid. The other one's gas. What? Do they not? No. She has beaten your son. Okay. Do you got any any gas that we can smoke? (laughs) I need those papers. Do not give him any gash. Let's smoke it in. No, no, don't, don't do that. The don't mysteries will it. reveal itself. <laughs> Once with a stick that's got a hole drilled in it, and maybe a notch that we can put our thumb up, and then no, we take no, a hit from the front. no, 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 no. Ah! Ah! And once very savagely with her hands, did she give no? Ex- Is this me again? I'm gonna say it's. I'm going to. Yeah, Executive okay. order okay. in his Watson. All right. Did she give no explanation as to why she struck him? I do say, sir. I do declare. My uh, uh, English my... gentleman like myself <laughs> would say. A simple I... English oh. gentleman like myself. My word. Here in, uh, in England, we do not do such things, sir. <laughs> None save that she hated him. Again and again, she said so. Uh, I could take this. Uh, um, well, actually, no. This is. It seems like a line of question from Holmes more than anything else. I think it's Holmes. Yeah. Oh man, your voice is so bad. It's bad audio books. <laughs> well, it's not unknown among stepmothers. A posthumous jealousy, we will say. How did she? All right. I'm. I'm okay. gonna put a pin in that for okay. a second because okay. I gotta break it down. Okay, she was jealous, so she murdered him. But he's calling it a posthumous jealousy. Why would she be jealous enough to kill him? Because she's jealous of him after he's dead. Uh, um, doesn't make any goddamn sense. Yeah, I got nothing. I can't follow up. On when that. he died, I was so jealous that I murdered him again. <laughs> she raised him from the dead as a vampire would, and then murdered him again. <laughs> there you go. Now it's making sense. We're getting to the bottom of this. A posthumous jealousy, we will say. Is the lady jealous by nature? Will she take my stuff? (laughs) Are you holding? He's wondering if you're cool. (laughs) I'm very cool, Mr. Holmes. And she was very jealous by nature. Yes, very jealous. Jealous with all the strength of a fiery tropical love. What the hell? Woo! What? what? So tropical that love was. But the boy. It's because they're just so sweaty from not having deodorant or any kind of bathing. But the boy, he's 15. 15 grams, I understand. And probably very developed in mind. Ha <laughs> ha! Since his body has been circumscribed in action. Did he give you no explanation of these assaults? No. He declared there was no reason. All right. In the future, any other Sherlock Holmes ones, you're playing the... The guest. Whoever's doing Holmes is doing the fucking... 
the lead or whatever the 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 contact. Oh, okay. So I, I would have to do the other one or two. Who's ever playing Holmes? Oh, we'll, okay. play the, well, the other person will play. Okay, okay, got it. I'm dying here. Do you want? Do you want no. me to take over? I, I love, can't take I over. I love the burning. Okay. It burns when I pee. What's that? <laughs> oh God! You need to get that looked at. We live in a country that has universal health care, Holmes. You should go get that looked at. <laughs> the universe is speaking to me. <laughs> and it's telling me to solve this mystery. <laughs> of what? Their burning penis? No. He declared there was no reason. <laughs> Were they good friends at the other times? Do you want to be my friend? <laughs> no. There was never any love between them <laughs> or us, Mr. Holmes, I'm afraid. <laughs> Come on, I'm feeling the affection. Yeah, you say he had... Ugh. Okay. Did you say he is affectionate? Never in the world could there be such a devoted son. Oh, boy. My life is his life. Good Lord. He is absorbed in what I say or do. Once again... We ho- kissed maybe once or twice. What? It was like the love of a father and a son, but maybe a little more. But that... was a- his son? <laughs> it's your turn for once oh okay once again Holmes made a note for some time he sat lost ah! in thought ah, I'm lost in thought hey you know that break you're supposed to take <laughs> no doubt you and the boy were great comrades before this second marriage you were thrown very close together were you not yes very much so. And the boy, having so affectionate a nature, was devoted, no doubt, to the memory of his mother! Most devoted. <laughs> he would certainly seem to be most interesting, lad. Let's smoke some shit and interview him. <laughs> there is only one other point about these assaults. Oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> for the strange attacks it's upon the baby. It's the cocaine, home. She causes that. Get me some more, Watson! <laughs> and the assault upon your son at the same period. Oh my god, this conversation is so long. I'm so sorry you're by yourself here. <laughs> I'm stranded on an island of cocaine! <laughs> I've only got my nose to swim. <laughs> In the first case, it was so. It was as if some frenzy had seized her. And she had vented her rage upon both. Both what? There's only one (laughs) thing there. It doesn't make any sense. (laughs) In the second case, it was only Jack who suffered. Mrs. Mason had no complaints. I'll just be over here smoking. Mmm, this is a great cigarette. Don't take all my shit, Watson! Oh my god! Give me some of that! No, it's mine! That certainly complicates matters! I don't quite follow you, Mr. Holmes. Are you talking about the case of the drugs? Possibly either. Possibly not. One forms provisional theories. The the, the, the theories. Ah! And waits for time and further knowledge to explode them. That's a bad habit, Mr. Ferguson. And I know bad habits. I've got a few. He really does. It's just a habit. No, it's not. But human nature is weak. I'm strong. I can resist any temptation. <laughs> ah! Holmes, would you like some opium? Oh, yes. One more, please. Okay. <sighs> I feel that your old friend uh, there <laughs> has given an exaggerated view of my scientific methods. <laughs> However, oh, excuse me, clearly, I will only say at the present stage that your problem does not appear to me to be insoluble. Oh, <laughs> my tongue's all really dry, clammy, and that you expect to find us at Victoria at two o'clock. I'm gonna need a nap soon, Watson. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you just take the just to lay down there. Oh, thank you. It was evening of a dull, foggy November day. When having our left our bags at Checkers, at the Checkers, Lamberley, we dove, we drove through the Sussex clay of a long winding lane and finally reached the isolated and ancient farmhouse in which Ferguson dwelt. 
I was a large, it was, I was a large, <laughs> I was a large I'm man. Very large. So large. I am not, I am not building up my proportions in these stories. It's very accurate. Hmm. It was a large straggling building. Got more of that other character that we can't mention in here. Very odd in the center, very new at the wings, and with a towering Tudor chimneys. <laughs> I don't need the mug. <laughs> and a lynchin, lichen, lynchin, lichen spotted leprechaun. Le- what? <laughs> a leprechaun? <laughs> a lich? A lichen? What? Like a an undead warlock? Oh, is that what that Wizard. is? Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's a, oh, well, I know what a lich. lich. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know what a lich is, but lichen spotted. I think it's a type of texture. Yeah, they they use <coughs> liches to spot the, yeah, the. No, they 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 raised a a dead sorcerer, and they to build this house. Them. Yeah, I think oh. that's, that, that's how I'm interpreting it. Oh, okay, British people. That's what that's what it means to me. You do all this crazy stuff with your building. Uh, no, yeah, okay, probably. okay, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, where's lichen? There we go. High pitched. <coughs> High pitched roof of Horsham slabs. Man, I love all the details about this fucking house. <laughs> the door steps were worn into curves, and the ancient tiles which lined the porch were marked with rebus of a cheese and a man after the original builder. What the fuck is happening? I don't know. We're padding. We're going they for padding. They walked up to the dark house. That's within all they needed. Within the ceilings, we corrugated. With heavy oakum oaken beams, and an uneven floor sagged into sharp curves, an odor of age and decay pervaded the whole crumbling building. Jesus. There was one very large central room in which Ferguson led us. Here in a huge old fashioned fireplace. (laughs) Old fashioned for them. Jesus. (laughs) An old-fashioned fireplace with an iron screen behind it, dated 1670. There blazed get the, is this and a spluttered. Of the house? Spend it. You just read like three whole pages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> I, I love the break. It's I'm about to say. Going. I'm like, aren't you enjoying the fact you don't have to say anything right now? No, my <laughs> ego can't allow it. <laughs> what <I> said? <laughs> and sputtered a splendid log fire. The room, as I gazed around, was most singular mixture of dates and of places. The half paneled walls may well have belonged to the original yeoman farmer of the 17th century. There were ornamented, however, on the lower part by a line of a well-chosen modern watercolors, <laughs> while above were... <laughs> <laughs> Yellow plaster <laughs> took the place of oak. There was hung a fine collection of South American utensils and weapons, which had brought, no doubt, by the Peru, which were brought, no doubt, no, which had been brought, yeah, okay, which had been brought, no doubt, by the Peruvian lady upstairs. Holmes rose with that quick curiosity which sprang from his eager <laughs> mind. And examined them with some care, since he was so bored. He returned with eyes full of thought. Oh, no! He cried. Oh, no! A A spaniel had lain on a basket in the corner. It came slowly around towards its master. A spaniel. Sorry. It's a dog. A spaniel. A spaniel. It is a spaniel. Spaniel. Okay. Espanol. <laughs> Espanol. <laughs> Walking with difficulty. Its hind legs moved irregularly and its tail was on the ground. It licked Ferguson's hand. Who the fuck is talking? I think it's probably, since it's saying Mr. Holmes, it's probably the Ferguson. The guy who you were doing sure. earlier. You know, I, I know who Ferguson <coughs> is. I'm, oh, okay. I'm well okay. acquainted. Are you sure? <laughs> what is it, Mr. Holmes? The dog! Oh my god! <laughs> yes, Holmes. It's What's just, it's the a, matter with it? It's a dog, Holmes. It's just a dog. That's what puzzled the vet. A sort of paralysis. Spinal meningitis. He thought, but it is passing. 
We're going to kill it soon. <laughs> He'll be all right. Won't you, Carlo? A shiver of ascent. Uh, hang on. <laughs> I guess I'll get my voice. A shiver, of a, a shiver of ascent passed through the drooping tail. The dog's mournful eyes passed from one of us to another, to the other. He knew that they were discussing his case. Wow. So they're already on a new case. <laughs> Forget the vampire Fuck thing. the vampire We thing. gotta figure out what's going on with this dog. <laughs> this is B-side Arthur Corn Doyle. <laughs> Dude, this is some filler ass shit. Unless it, you know, it may come into play later, but we'll Jesus. see. The dog's the vampire. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> We've, we found our murderer. <laughs> Did it come on suddenly in a single night? How long ago? Six, seven minutes? <laughs> <laughs> it may have been four months ago. Ha! Ah, very remarkable. Very suggestive. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Oh, is it me? Come yeah, too. He says Mr. Holmes. Never has Watson said Mr. Holmes. He just calls him Holmes? He just calls him Holmes. All right. I know you what read the story. I am, I am, I am <laughs> looking for an out. <laughs> what do you see in it, Mr. Holmes? A confirmation which I had already thought. He's a mule. <laughs> Let's cut him out, man! <laughs> Holmes, no. We don't want another incident of that. For God's sakes, Mr. Holmes. What do you think? It may be a mere intellectual puzzle to you. But it is life and death to me. About a dog? My wife, I would be murderer. My child, in constant danger. My dog, <laughs> needing a vent. <laughs> Don't play with me, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> it is too terribly serious. The big rugby three-quarter was trembling all over. Holmes put his hand smo- soothingly upon his arm. <laughs> oh, my God. Holmes, you're petting him a little too hard. Got any booze? What? Let me have a drink. No, no you don't Shh. have to. It's a bit crash to ask those questions, Mr. Holmes. I could use some whiskey. They don't, they don't do. I mean, they do whiskey. I fear that there is pain for you, Mr. Ferguson. Whatever the solution may be. He said he. We're going to have to bring him down. I would spare you all I can. Which isn't much. But I cannot say more for the instant. But before I leave this house, I hope I may have something definite. Like some heroin. <laughs> Please, God, you may. If you will excuse me, gent- if you will excuse me, gentlemen, I will go to my wife's room and see if there has been any change. He's going to go see if she turned into a bat, isn't he? Yeah. Like, that's that's great. Leave him alone with the uh, yeah, right. murderer. With the vampire. With the Impossible who we know vampire. to mur- have been the murderer. Yeah. He was away for he was away some minutes, during which Holmes resumed his examination of the curiosities upon the wall. That they are not made of paper. <laughs> they are not made of paper. <laughs> I've only got the one side of that. <laughs> we'll use it for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, low budget production. <laughs> everything from South America is made of paper mache. <laughs> I gotta find my place again. <laughs> okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> when our host returned, oh, he was only gone for a sentence. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was clear from his downcast face that he made no progress. He brought with him a tall, slim, brown-faced girl. The tea is ready, Dolores, said Ferguson. See that your mistress has everything she could wish. Like a dead child that she could drink blood from. Oh, God, I apologize in advance. She very ill, cried the girl. (laughs) We didn't write this. We didn't write this. She very ill. Jesus Christ. Looking in... Th- <laughs> I'm, you're committing. I am. Do I it. am. Oh, God, it gets worse. Okay. <laughs> looking, with indig- looking with indignant eyes at her master, she no ask for food. Uh, she no ask for food. 
She very ill. She need doctor. I frightened stay alone with her without doctor. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I think it's. I think the writing is the, the ve- parody here. Well, it's like, how do you handle somebody okay. who is second language? But you also have to cast into the, the call into question the accent being used. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Conan Doyle is the most modern of men. Oh, yeah, I'm for sure. <laughs> there's no there's no way that he ever crossed a boundary. Mm-mm. Ferguson looked at me and with a question in his eyes. <laughs> I should be so glad if I could be what be of use. What? Uh... Oh, is that me saying that? I think it's supposed to be me saying that. Okay. I should be so glad if I could be of any of use. That's the problem is I have no idea who wrote who said that line. Yeah, I well, no would your wish to see Dr. Watson? Oh, that might be Holmes. That might be Holmes. No, no, it makes sense to... No, no, Watson's saying, <coughs> I wish I could be of some use, because he's a doctor. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. talking about a doctor. No, it's yeah. Watson. It's Watson. Okay, yeah, but I already said it. But I okay. meant, like, would your mistress... The line after that, I think it might be Holmes suggesting it. Oh, I was going to say Fer- Ferguson. Oh, maybe. Because he keeps referring... Oh, to the him. mistress. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Would your mistress see Dr. Watson? Fuck you, Doyle, for not saying said. <laughs> I take him. I need no ask leave. She needs doctor. Then, then I'll come to sh- with you at once. Yeah. I was like doing back-to-back lines <laughs> with yourself. <laughs> Just masturbatory. Revenge! The revenge is mine! <laughs> I followed the girl, who was quivering with a strong emotion, <laughs> up the staircase and down the ancient corridor. Oh. At the end was an iron-clamped and massive door. It struck me as I looked at it that if Ferguson tried to force his way to his wife, he would find no e- find it no easy matter. The girl drew a key from her pocket, and a hev- and the heavy oaken planks creaked underneath their old hinges. I passed in, and she swiftly followed, fastening the door behind her. On the bed, w- on the bed, a woman was lying who was clearly in a high fever. He could tell from... <clears throat> well, if someone's in high fever, it's pretty noticeable. Really? You you could tell someone has a high fever if they're sweating and like there's sweat everywhere and stuff like that. It usually uh, indicates high fever. I'll back off. Okay. <laughs> that's I'm going to defend him on that. That's actually something you can notice at a distance, at least. Um, she was only half conscious. <laughs> she was only half conscious. But... If I entered, she raised a pair of frightening but beautiful eyes and glared at me in apprehension. Seeing a stranger, she appeared to be relieved and sank back and with a sigh upon the pillow. I stepped up to her. Ah! <laughs> so much, such a sigh of relief that was. I stepped up to her with a few reassuring words and she lay, and she lay still while I took her pulse and temperature. What were the reason words? Stay still while I take your pulse and temperature. <laughs> Perfect. Both were high, <laughs> and yet my impression was that the condition was rather that of mental and nervous excitement than of any actual seizure. She lay, she lie like that one day, two day. I afraid she die, said the girl. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> The woman turned her flushed and handsome, really? Oh, you want me to do three? Uh Uh-huh. You son of a bitch. (laughs) The the woman turned her flushed and handsome face towards me. Where is my husband? He is below and wished to see you. Wait, she's going to be British. Hang on. Lord and Lady Rantham. Hang on. I will not see him. I will not see him. Then, then she. <laughs> That's your British improvement. <laughs> that is not any good <laughs> at all. I'm actually pretty good at impressions, and I can't do a damn voice when I'm doing this show. It sucks. <sighs> yeah, we're it's on the spot. It's, yeah, there's no prep. It's like no prep. you gotta go. We don't know what c- it's coming. We're live to tape. <laughs> yeah. I have no like. There's no way to buffer that. Like, oh, who okay. are you being cast as today? I don't know. Whoever reads it first, do a British lady voice. Oi! <laughs> oh. 
I can take up that. <laughs> oh, what you spot a tea? I will not see him. I will not see him. That's actually better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Then she's well, it's better. It's a good direction note at this point. <laughs> this is bad audiobook. <clears throat> <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> then she seemed to wander off into a delirium. A fiend, a fiend. No, nah, it's terrible. God damn it. Do we move forward. I gotta think. Hang on. Pause this for a second. I gotta get a better one. All right. We'll be right back. Will I find that British voice that I go searching for? What's gonna happen in the next scene? Will Sherlock get high? <laughs> er? Er? <laughs> find out in part two of our Sherlock Holmes adventure. But for now, you might be wondering how can I support this show? It's a great question. I. It's one that I don't know if I could ever find the clues to to figure out if it was Old Man Jenkins or not. Well, I think I've got a clue for you. You should. Uh, Do you have a raging clue? <laughs> I've got a raging clue right now. You should. Uh, you should hit that subscribe button in whatever app or website that you're listening to us through, uh, or the equivalent button. Uh, it really uh, helps you get all those updates of when we're we're dropping new episodes. Uh, you can also uh, rate and review us on iTunes. That really helps drive a lot of traffic to our little little podcast that we're trying to grow out there in the in the deep blue sea. Mm-hmm. Uh, it helps us rise through the algorithm and helps expose us to new listeners. Uh, and if you do leave a review for us, uh, we will read it at the end of our our show whenever it pops up, as long as it's not hate speech. Yeah, so long as you guys aren't trying to put anything in there that make us sound like jerks, and you're being a jerk by doing it. I mean, you can give us a critique. We'll take that. That's I mean, fine. Any any kind of rating, we don't care about. Nick can uh, be level. louder, is what they say. Yeah. Ken and Nick can be totally louder. <laughs> no one's quiet. ever going to say <laughs> that we should be louder. Words never uttered. <laughs> My voice is getting battered, I think. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the, we'd also like to thank our, our patrons who support the show. Without your contributions, this show would be very, very difficult to do. So thank you so much for your time and backing. Yeah, well said. Uh, best way to find the Patreon is going to patreon.com slash bad audiobooks. You can find all the tiers there, which we'll talk about. Uh, but the, if you want to follow us on social media, the best way to do it is our Instagram, at bad audiobooks. Nick, where can the good people find you? They can find me on Instagram at realhumanmaz. Uh, Kent, can they find you on that platform as well? <laughs> well of, of course. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, yeah, you can find me at Kent Heidelman. Uh, go check out some of my art, a uh, little comics, a uh, little promos, uh, all sorts of things. Uh, lots of cool places. But uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, anything? Any other biz? Uh, no, I think that's it. I just want to say thank you again for joining us on this adventure. And we hope to see you or hear from you and... Part two. You'll be hearing from us. Bye.